Glory be and welcome in Brave Fighters. Emperor Bubbles is here. He's returned once again for a Total War League Season 9 matchup. Guys, it is Bobby as Misesli going up against Moore as Pontus, who we just saw yesterday defeat Saga. And today, Bobby is looking to give him his first L, his first loss of the season. Can he do it or will Moore just keep going, keep grinding, keep winning? That is the question. Here is Bobby's build. Bobby currently sitting at two wins, no losses. He's got three of the armored Numidian cavalry, one of the best skirm calves in the game. Three armored Numidian riders, decent uh, mid-tier shot cav, some Numidian skirmishers. So the Numidian skirmisher general, very interesting to see. You don't really see that uh, that too often. So uh, very pleasing to the emperor's eyes. He's got four of those, and then the center, some desert legionaries, three, four, and five with some Numidian Light Infantry, three, so eight melee, and he's going up against uh, the Mastermind, the man who's undefeated 6-0 and right now in Total War League Season 9. Pontic Sword Frontline, three, four, maybe a fifth, and then a six, looks like his flank, Thoreau Spear, so two Thoreau Spear, and uh, opting for Skirmisher Cavalry, not the Horse Archers, but the Skirmisher Cavalry, so he's got two of those, two more, make it four, and then the Blessed Cappadocian, or as the uh, sometimes I like to call him the Fapadocian Cavalry, praise be. Uh, two, three, and four with the uh, ooh, Pontic Sword General, though so not going for a Cav General. As he also has some naked swords, looks like no arrow, unless they're hidden. Maybe they're in the tree clusters, but uh, I do not think so. As we are underway, nine minutes on the clock. And uh, it's just gearing up, it's been a great season so far. We've had some epic games. Uh, glorious battles, of course, but uh, very excited to see how this one goes. I think in the next few days there will be a build video coming out, so uh, I'm going to be covering Parthia. If that's something she'll be interested in, keep your eyes peeled. I was hoping to do it tonight, and then uh, time got past the Emperor. What a shame! But uh, before we get into the video, guys, I know it's it's playing in the background right now, but uh, remember to like the video, comment, and subscribe. You know, commenting. And subscribing and liking that is what boosts the algorithm for people to just to discover the channel so keep that in mind and uh of course give glory to the lord emperor praise be as pontus is pushing forward or yet to taste defeat this uh this season he certainly wants to keep it this way as he is pontus you know just uh, my thoughts initially pontus one of the weaker factions um Especially in the Masesa. I feel like just Masesa has a little bit more going. And uh, more bringing the four Skirm Cav. So we'll see what he can do against the Armored Numidian Cavalry. I was, there was an interesting discussion as well in the Discord today. Uh, if you're not in the Discord, link is in the description below. We're talking about uh, Skirm Cav. And people were, you know, Barco was talking about how, you know, he feels that, you know, a cheaper Skirm Cav could take down an Armored Numidian Cav. Um, you know, these guys are a little bit quicker. I don't know how you would do it. <laughs> I, don't, I certainly couldn't do it. But uh, maybe I missed the gist of the discussion. Anyways, but here comes Masesli. Here comes Bobby. Bobby wants blood. Looks like Moore's line is a bit off guard. You know, off centered. No one's centered. As it's the armored Numidian and Cav Riders coming in. The Pontic's turn. Engage the Pontic Cav hit with them. And bodies flying. As the first engagement is in. See that Cappadocian untouched. A good charge there from Bobby. Bobby returning after being absent for a few seasons and he is ready. This Cappadocian do get caught there with the Pilum and they do not move. They'll have to retreat. So one failed charge, but a couple very good charges for Pontus. I might have mixed up the opponents there. Uh, Pontus is Bobby and uh, Masa or sorry, Pontus is more, and Masesli is Bobby. Shame on the Emperor. Big shame. But more getting in his naked swords. As this Dominion Skirmishers could do extreme damage to those naked swords, so gotta be careful there if you are more. As again, the next naked contingent getting in. Who doesn't love a naked sword? There they go, striking upon the enemy. Let's take a peek at the Skirm Cav. It's like uh, more just setting up the strike here. He's got his throw of spear. Look at that guy. He's oh my. Okay, that's nice. He's got him nice and wide. He could honestly hit those units in the back. Those units. 
It's like, oh, uh oh. Micro mistake. How often do you say that for more? The skirmishers get pummeled. As you could say, a big hit double route. This would be game changing. So a massive micro mistake, they are gone. Gonna cost more. Two full thick units who do not exist anymore. They're gone in the battle. So your skirm cav cut in half by that one mistake. As this Cappadocian finding his way in, going to engage. He, oh, he's going for the Desert Legionaries. Not hitting the general. Interesting decision. I guess you got those skirm, uh, uh, the uh, skirm and the armored, armored Numidian Riders. But I would say, if you can kill that Masesli general, Masesli's morale very low. But he's not opting to. He wants his riders in here. This looks like some friendly fire coming in. Definitely some friendly fire on those uh, Numidian riders. It's this Thoreau Spear now in square formation, routing those Numidian lights. Like a blow from the cavalry of Masesli. A nice big hit. Everybody loves a good uh, big hit. I think in the last video, with a hashtag big hit. Uh, we're trying to get that trending. I don't know what trending is on YouTube, but uh, we're gonna get it trending as here comes a, another one. In. You thought I was gonna say big hit. I didn't even say it. Now, you're, now your day is ruined. <laughs> shame, big shame. But Masesli opening up the field of battle. So much going on here. As those skirms look like they're discovering it. Either the naked swords or those Pontic swords. Firing upon us the back of the Pontic general is exposed, and yes, that is very smart. Masesli and Bobby targeting that contingent. Yes, he should be, but some Pontic wins here. As now, here's a huge key to the battle, these guys. We saw two taken out earlier. Masesli general dead? No. But he is routing. Routing at 63. Not what you want to see. If you are Bobby, is now we're under four minutes in the battle. Looks like uh, some reformations of the battle lines will be made as there's still a full Cappadocian. 58 Cappadocian as we're trying to get him, but taking a big bomb from those skirmishers as they're in. Big hit. There we go. The big hit has been delivered. They are engaged. Cappadocian, only five kills for these men and already lost 13. Still, the battle unfolds. Sacely killing that Thoreo's spear there. Those, guys, those heavy skirmishers, not too bad in melee. Melee attack 30, so they're not, uh, they're not pushovers in melee. As they take care of business there on the Thoreo's spear. Pontic Sword General at half health. And still, the Armored Median Cav fire upon it. Guys, look at this. Two Armored Median Cav shooting at an idle unit. But uh, they haven't been used much this battle. I don't think so. It's Cappadocian risking it all to get the general, as he should be doing. If you can kill that general, you never know. Masesli might have a bad time, might say, I gotta go. The general's dead? So the enemy general is dead, as the 27 Cappadocian pursued by the armored Numidian riders. But Pontus has the two horse skirmishers. Firing upon some a uh, couple melee here for Vasesli. It looks like 42 there. Oh wait, I take back a couple melee. He's got a full desert legionary. What does Pontus have? 94 Pontic swords, 26 nakeds, 85 nakeds, and of course the general. It's more doing the best he can to keep Bobby off of his men in melee, but they are going for it. He senses blood. So skirm cav is in. Surely they still have some pillum. As what an electric battle this has been. Cold War League is growing and growing and is just getting better than ever before, praise be. As we are so blessed to have Bobby back at the competition, giving us a show along with more. Two of the best. As here comes the Riders. Theme. Beautiful strike. Right in to the backs of the Pontus. 48 and routing. Their banner blinking. A look at that. Great maneuver ship by Moore. As Cappadocian got a clean charge straight into the Numidian cavalry. And now in come the naked swords. If you see that, they are winning decisively as the Pontus general is now dead. So no general for either contingent. 
They still have a pillum. Someone you just love seeing late in the battle. Shooting a pillum at the skirm cav. 43 skirm cav. This is a Numidian cav into the Cappadocia. Nine left. Oh, they are no. routing. Four trying to hold on. He's got to worry about a full ah. legionary. He's still charging upon them. Nice strike there. That'll give some breathing room for the Pontic Swords. But in come the heavy Numidian skirmishers, which, like I said, they are no pushover. 44 men trying to dwindle those Pontic Swords. The 39 Skirm Cav now engaged. They are definitely outclassed by the Numidian Cav. One of the best Skirm Cavs in the game just due to their melee attack. Look at that. 51 melee attack. You gotta be kidding me. Absolutely enormous amounts of damage being dealt. They have another skirm of them now. No kill them there. The big hit delivered. But it is not enough. Bobby coming in and handing more his first defeat in season nine of Total War League as it is finished. Uh, a blessed, blessed battle. There's your stats. It came down to the wire. And Bobby claiming the victory. There you have it. That uh, legionary at the end just did, he was dominant. Look at that, 230 kills and still kicking over half health. It was a gritty, gritty fight. The skirm cav, look at, look at Bobby's just great. Those are fantastic numbers. And then look at Pontus. We saw it early. It was the key to the battle. It turned the battle. Those two skirm cav going down. I think if Moore could keep those men alive, I think he could definitely secure that battle. But in this case, he didn't. Bobby is uh, making waves and getting what he needs needed to get, which was finding those skirm cav, and he will revel in the victory. Fighters, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, glory be upon thee and glory to the Empire.